guys, it's Misty from Love That Shot. I have a little bit of a different uh, photo adventure for you today. It's gonna be more relaxed and kind of a peaceful walk through a garden. We're in Idaho Falls, and this is a Japanese friendship garden that's built on an island that sits in the middle of the Snake River. It's really cool. And it has a really neat history behind it too. This is actually the site of the first bridge to span the Snake River here in Eastern Idaho. So cool history. So yeah, let's go check it out and get started. This garden was actually built to celebrate the relationship that Idaho Falls had with their sister city in Japan. And I'm not gonna try to pronounce it, so I'll put it here on the screen for you. But yeah, it's just a really cool garden. There's water features, pathways, all of that fun stuff. So I want to start out, I found this cute little stream that I'm going to photograph and I've got my 24 to 70 millimeter lens on with my polarizer, my tripod and yeah, I'm just going to photograph it and there's some more too that will, uh, you know, continue on and photograph. But I wanted to start out and talk about this kind of idea that I've had like mulling around in my head and it kind of comes from something that I've seen on social media and some Facebook groups that I'm in where people share their photos and it's this idea that like the hashtag no filter or no edits or something along those lines and it's kind of said like proudly like this is I'm sharing this with no edits at all and it kind of makes me a little bit sad because Processing is where I get to be really creative with my photos and really make my artistic vision come out. And I just, I love Photoshop, I do. <laughs> it's kind of a way for me to be creative. And so, yeah, let's, let's get creative. I like to get creative with my photos in post-processing is to play with the light and in this photo I darkened up the shadows a bit giving the small cascade of water an almost spotlight effect this really draws the eye throughout the scene and going along with this idea of getting creative there's a famous quote by Ansel Adams that says dodging and burning are steps to take care of mistakes God made in establishing tonal relationships and he might have said that a little bit jokingly, but Ansel Adams was known for spending entire days in the darkroom creating his prints. And speaking from experience in the darkroom, I know he wasn't just making print after print, letting the technology have all the fun. He was working his photographs until he had something he wanted to present to the world. And this is how I see it. His darkroom is our software. So whether it's Photoshop or Lightroom or whatever software you choose, the more we play and experiment with our processing, our own personal style will start to emerge, setting us apart from other photographers. Photoshop work to get that line out. Thank you. 
throughout this adventure, I've been experimenting with the focus stacking technique. And I have to admit, I messed up royally on this photo. When I took all of my photos back into my computer, all I saw was this big blurry rock on the left of the photo. But I really love this composition, the way the flowing water contrasts against the rugged rock formations. So putting into practice this idea of not being afraid of editing my photos, I turned to AI and I took out the rock. And with a bit of cropping, I now love this photo. While I understand the sentiment behind the idea of hashtag no edits or no filter as an accurate representation of the scene itself, and that definitely has its place, especially with photojournalism. But as a fine art photographer, I say let's use all the tools available to us to express our creative vision. Did you connect with a photo from this photo adventure? You can order fine art prints now on my website, lovethatshot.com. Go check it out. I hope you've enjoyed coming along this adventure with me, just taking a nice walk through the peaceful gardens here, photographing cascading water. One of my favorite things. Um, if you want to, join in the conversation in the comments, and I will meet you there. And until next time, get out there, get clicking, adventure awaits.